The fashion industry is lying to you, girl. You being played. Don't keep falling for it. Welcome to our channel, The Thrifting Twins, where we yeah, take you yeah. along our journey as we curate a more vintage looking style and we find our style through thrifting. Something we love to do, a lot of people love to do. Today we just want to start this video talking about how this journey kind of began for us and um, why we want to add a vintage style to our existing wardrobe and why we feel that it's necessary. We wanted to start off saying, how the fashion industry is just made to make women shop and consume more. Mm -hmm. It's a perpetual cycle of spending things that are out of season and buying more things and things that are in season, things that are trending, which is really a cycle. Everything that we we are doing now have has been done before. Right. A lot of times you'll see, oh, we doing the 90s again. Oh, we doing the 70s again. We'll go back to the 20s. How many times we heard army or military is in trend? trend of right. course it is. Okay. That means that those clothes that's already out there are still trendy. Right. Nobody's really reinventing the wheel when it comes to certain pieces. The best things about... Uh, clothes is the quality and the fabric. How long does it hold up? Mm -hmm. Because even if it's not necessarily trending, it, if it's good quality, it'll always be in style. Especially if you look good in it. A lot of times you'll find that things from the past are made with those real natural fabrications. Another point is that the, the fashion industry is designed to play on your emotions. They're going to play on your pocket because it's a billion industry. dollar industry. Mm -hmm. These companies are making millions of dollars of the fact that women are watching TV, they are reading magazines, or they're on Instagram, the biggest, the biggest, uh, I guess, advertisement, mm -hmm. social media, always being told to you that you have to be in trend. I mean, the reels that come out about fall trends, mm -hmm. uh, what's trending, what you should be wearing now, right. what to shop for in the fall. All Outfits those, of the days. Oh. All of those things are just repeated. I was reading Cosmopolitan and they said knits are in this fall. It's like, of course, knits are in, knits are in this fall. Blazers. But they play with you yeah. thinking that I need to run out and buy more sweaters. No, if you had a nice thick black sweater that's good fabric, good quality made well, you don't need to run out and buy knits. You already have knits because we're over 35. We're trying to hone in on a certain style. And we'll find some pictures. Most of our style has been what we was considered trending. Like mm -hmm. we just spent a lot of money at Zara buying neutrals because everything on advertisements and uh, social media say you need to have on a neutral. neutral. You need to have on a neutral. But it makes everybody look the same. Don't stand out at all, especially if you're trying to build a brand name based on your fashion sense, like we are. So uh, I think it's important to pick an aesthetic. Even though some people say, hey, you don't need aesthetic. You could do it all as long as you look nice. And I agree, you could do it all. You could give a cottage core aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Then you could turn into a dark 90s academia. or a dark academia. Mm -hmm. You could do all of those things too. I love to see people who have a Quality. certain aesthetic. Or fashion influencers who have a particular style. When you go to these people, they actually, you know what to expect for them because of their style. I think that it grows their audience. Like Tanika B. You know she's going to give you jewel tones. You know it's going to be color blocked. Right. If you go yeah. to somebody like a Cameron Brick chick, you know that she's going to give you a vintage feel to your uh -huh. things street and fashion. also street fashion. So it's certain things that you go to. I forget the name of this woman, but she only wears neutral. She only wears black, white, beiges, brown. Mm -hmm. No prints, a lot of basics, but they always look very well made. She's always very tailored. So a tailored look is really her aesthetic. Right, so and there's so many different people. We like Brooklyn Betty. Her aesthetic is like all oh, like streetwear, a lot of colors, colors, a lot of patterns. Mm -hmm. She's a sneakerhead, so she plays with a lot of dresses that we that where she would wear sneakers with them. It may seem repetitive, but when you go to her Instagram page or you look at her social media, it just looks uniform and consistent, and I like that about it. Our style aesthetic will be more of a vintage style aesthetic yes. because you could go to the thrift store and thrift any style aesthetic. Right. At the end of the day. Thrifting is going to be better on your pockets, which is our last point. 
it's cheaper. I know some people have that in their mind that thrifting is garbage. If you never thrifted before, then you it might be overwhelming or you might think that there may be a lot of garbage in there. People with stains on their clothes, they just catch up saying they just threw in the garbage and somebody in the thrift store picked through their garbage and put it on a rack. Right, no. don't think, it's no. not dumpster diving. No, it's not At all. Diving. When you go to these rented shops, they've already stood the test of time. You can kind of see what condition they are in and how long you'll have them. Think about the process of a thrifted item. It's being brought from somebody from a store. At full price. price. Mm -hmm. Then it has to sit in their wardrobe. Either they use it a lot or they don't. And nine mm -hmm. times out of 10, people don't give away or donate crappy right. stuff. Right. They Garbage. give it away and donate it because it's still nice. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it's unworn. <laughs> if you want to shop only for brand new tags, you can do that in a thrift store. Think about all the pieces that you have in your closet unworn and you can uh, possibly donate, donate it because it's like if you're not going to wear it then it doesn't get to the piece doesn't get to be shown out the way it should be for it to go through that whole process and still stand the test of time and still look good then that's a good quality thrifted piece and those are the ones we looking for if i had a nice pair of shoes and i have probably worn them a lot but they still had good life on them i'm gonna be like let, let me give this away i'm not gonna be like let me throw it away so a lot of times even if it's not some something that just sat in somebody's closet it was loved by somebody and sometimes that loving means makes they're so terrible it. and makes me that they want to give them to somebody to have a second life almost right there's a lot of clothes i wish i would have gave away to a thrift store as opposed to just throwing it away because mm -hmm. either it didn't fit anymore especially because we had a huge weight loss journey and we used to buy quality plus size fashion mm -hmm. like lane bryant nice things and they were good quality but once you lose weight you can't fit them so mm -hmm. it's not like i don't plan on going back to that weight so I'm trying to get rid of these clothes. Mm -hmm. And some of the things I just throw in the garbage, should have thrifted those things because a lot of plus size people need clothes too. Mm -hmm. I mean, thrift is not is is not for you to have a fashion, but it's for people who need a fashion at a very low price. We all have to get dressed. Yes. That's we all have to participate in fashion. Whether you like it or not, you gotta get dressed. Think about this, when you go thrifting, it's like a mall all in one spot. You get your shoes, you get your bags, you get your hats, you get accessories, accessories jewelry, you get men's wear, you get women's wear, you get children's wear. It's a so wide much variety in, in one store. store. And then on top of that, the prices are at a fraction of the price, like literally a fraction where you would spend hundreds of dollars on a Donna Karen, Michael Kors. These are the designers that you often see in thrifting stores. Designers like Calvin Klein, Liz Claiborne, mm -hmm. Michael Kors, Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor. Those, BCBG. Yes. I mean, it's so much more. We've seen people who uh, thrifted Christian Dior, yes. Prada. Well, if you want to shop for only name brands, you can, you can do, do that, that in the thrift store. store. There's plenty. Uh, no thing is the same. You gonna always even on different days. Different. It's like a treasure hunt. You can find some amazing pieces, like we did. We yes. just started thrifting. We thrifted before in college out of necessity. We wanted right. new outfits and we were broke as hell. Okay, so you want to find garments that are better quality because those are always going to stand out. Garments that fit you better. Those are going to always make you look good, no matter the trend. Certain things you just need to look for, and fast fashion does not give you that because they need to make it fast. fast. Yes. So quality fabrics, not probably not. And if they do give you fa quality fabrics, it's gonna be at a premium price. Like Zara, or H&M might have a whole premium section mm -hmm. or something that'll tell you like, girl, you're gonna pay a lot for this, but it's good fabric. And that's just not good enough anymore for us. No, it's not. Well, especially if you're relocating and thrifted is for you, cause you're gonna find good quality pieces for the cheap, while you relocate right, low, low. and you get a chance to really redo your whole wardrobe and things in your previous wardrobe no longer works for you. The variety is so huge. Mm -hmm. You want to find something to your size. Absolutely. You can do a whole video about tips for thrifting. Yes, but like Let us know in the comments if you want to see a video like that. I think that's kind of needed. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. there are some things that you need to know and things that you need to look out for, things that you need to know when you go thrifting and we can help you out with that. And maybe you could do it too or you could just watch us. But this is our journey to uh, a more sustainable and more vintage aesthetic style. I'm gonna try to break our videos down into categories. Uh, we wanna start with um, accessories. Cause I feel like accessories is the easiest thing to add into your existing wardrobe that will make it look more vintage without jumping out the window for new garments if you don't need to. And also we are seamstress. Right, right. We have the expert knowledge. We design, design so in style. style. So we come and that from that background, right. all self-taught. 
So right. the passion is there. Right, and we've been doing it for 10 plus years. So mm -hmm. we've been making clothes for since we were in high school. From and formal to casual. Mm -hmm. We shop for a lot of fabrics. We yeah. understand what fabrication means. And how much it should cost. Good that point. <laughs> that part. So when we look at fabrics, we can tell like, okay, this is overpriced or this, this is, is a good deal. deal. Oh. We have an expert opinion in that case. We, we've done the work for in fashion. All self-taught, so you know it's passion behind us. We want to show you how we develop a a, a real style, a real a style aesthetic, and not just buying cute clothes. Three major things you need to take away from this video is fashion. When you thrift it, is more sustainable. Mm -hmm. It's easier on your pockets, and it can help you develop a style exactly. aesthetic. Definitely.